Hey, good morning. Today's Bible study comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 32 through 34, and it reads as follows. They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way, and the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. Again, he took the twelve aside and followed and told them what was going to happen to him. We are going to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priest and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles, who will mock him and spit on him, flog him and kill him. Three days later, he will rise. Now, we've been talking about Jesus predicting his death, and this is actually the third time that Jesus predicts his death death again and he predicted to his disciples again and it tells them they were on their way up to Jerusalem they were headed they were on the pathway to Jesus's crucifixion to his death and they were taking their diligent march to it and as you see Jesus was leading the way Jesus knew what he had to do and his disciples were astonished they they were astonished because he didn't fear this. Um, as I said, he was leading the way. Most people would cower or get away. It, it, nobody wants to walk to their death knowingly. And Jesus was leading the way, and the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. People were afraid. They didn't want him to die. They knew what he had said was going to happen prior. And... They were afraid. They were scared. And again, he took his 12 aside. He took his disciples aside. And he told them what was going to happen to them. Jesus once again reaffirms and tells them exactly what he had told them before. We are going up to Jerusalem, he said. And I will be given over to these chief priests and these teachers of your law. The ones who go against me, who say they are for me, the ones who claim to know the word and don't see the word, the ones who will set in motion to have me crucified. They will condemn me to death, and then they will hand me over to the Gentiles. So they're going to pass judgment on me, and then they're going to give me to the Gentiles, who are going to say bad things and mock me and tell me I should do this and that to get out of this and spit on me. That's my grandmother used to say that's the worst thing you could do to a person. And they're going to spit on him. They're going to flog him. Flog him means beat him. And that's with actually anything they want. But usually it was cat's tails, which are these whips that have nine tails on them. And they have different objects in them from rocks to glass to thorns and they're going to kill him and he tells them they're going to kill me I know they're going to kill me you should know they're going to kill me but once again he emphasizes three days later he will rise he has said that in all Three predictions of his death that on the third day he will rise if you couldn't find a commonality amongst all of these predictions please understand that on the third day he will rise is common to everyone so Jesus predicts his death a third time and knows what's gonna happen and he goes on doing his father's work because he's leading the way a true leader, an obedient leader, a true servant, and an obedient servant. He was leading his people, showing them, don't fear death. Don't be afraid of what this man here can do to you. Be afraid of the one that can cast you in the hell. Be afraid of not being obedient unto God. Man is going to do what man is going to do. But I serve a greater power than man and on the third day I will rise I will not be defeated by death 
And I'm going to lead you and show you these things so that you understand what the prophet spoke of, what I've been telling you, and what is to be is true. And my father's word will always be true. And then you can see that I am also the Messiah that has been telling you that you have an opportunity to do great things and to be with me in glory. But I'm going to lead you by being a humble servant unto my Father. Amen.